Hello, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk. In this video, we're going to paint some robes on this miniature using the um, sort of John Blanche Blanjitsu style um, colours. So we're going for like a sort of bone to bra brown, um, sort of via orange sort of look. Um, if you're familiar with Blanjitsu, and especially um, John Blanche's um, miniatures, um, this is a sort of style that he likes to do himself. Um, he used a lot of um, artists' inks to achieve this effect, but we're going to try and do it um, with GW Paints. And um, before we begin, I just want to shout out to our latest Patreons. So, Sasha, Jeffro, Sam, and David, um, thank you so much for becoming Patreons. Um, we have um, about 14 Patreons now, and um, if we have um, one more before the end of the month, um, that will bring us up to 15 Patreons, and that will um, allow us to give away another Mark III Marine set. So we're giving away some Space Marines and the Mark III Space Marines. Currently two will be given away in a prize draw, um, but if we have some more Patreons for the end of the month, then we'll have another one to give away, so it'll be really cool. Um, the link to our Patreon is down below. So anyway, let's crack on with this miniature. So I'm going to start by doing the lighter colours first, but before I move on to the Baron, I want to give it a base coat of Rakath Flesh, and this will give us a nice base coat which we can work from. So I'm going to thin it out just ever so slightly. And I'll probably just apply a couple of coats just to cover this black undercoat. And if I move my hand out of the way, you can actually see what I'm doing. So, so I'll just apply this all over and get a couple of coats just to get a nice smooth finish. So with that layer now applied, and I've let it fully dry. I'm going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're just going to shade it all over. Now you can now apply this shade quite heavy because we're going to be layering up quite a lot um, after this. So I'm actually going to apply it fairly heavily. The aim here is just to get all the Agrax Earth Shade just sitting in them recesses and they will act as our deepest shadows. Don't worry too much about areas where it will pull up because we will eventually be painting over these areas anyway. Okay so that wash is now completely dried and there's a little bit of, sort of coffee staining going on there but that doesn't matter because we're going to go over these areas again. So next up we're going to take some Shabdi Bone and we're going to do some highlights towards the middle of this cloak. So in this sort of look we're trying to replicate. There's sort of like faded oranges and blacks going towards the edges but the middle is like really light bone colour so we're gonna get that light bone colour put in now. Of course you could do this at a later step but I'm just gonna do it now. So it's gonna look a bit strange at this stage but it's fine. Um, that'll all come together by the end. Right, I'm really just hitting the raised areas, leaving the dark colours in the recesses, but I think I'll do a bit more like so, like that. And I'll do all the same around the back. There's more areas to hit around the back. So, so just work your way around the robes. Just getting all these sort of central raised areas. So it might be looking a little bit weird at this stage, but that's fine. Um, it should ho all hopefully um, come together by the end. Um, we're going to take some rat skin flesh now, and we're going to thin it out and start applying it to the upper and the lower portions of the robes. So. And you can work it almost up to um, the shabby bone areas. Now it's going on quite thin, and we will do some multiple layers. It's sort of almost glazing it down, trying to build up a little bit of a transition. Um, these aren't like this going to be the smoothest transition between the colours. I mean, if you want to, you could do wet blending or glazes to 
between all the colours to really get some nice smooth transitions, but I always find that Blend Jitsu has more of a rough sort of style. So we can be a bit sloppy, so to speak. And you can really sort of just speed up the process. But I do still want just to um, build up a little bit of transition with this. So you might think it's still looking pretty, pretty funky. Um, and it is. Um, maybe I should have done these highlights in the middle just a little bit smaller, but we can always neaten them up later on. Um, what I'm going to do once this first layer is dry, I'm going to do another layer and just not as high up, so it'll build us a little bit of a transition to the orange. Um, we might work, come back in with some Rakar flesh later to sort out the middle, but that's fine. Um, we're going to add some browns as well. So I'll just let this dry, do that other coat, and then we'll be back for the next step. So next up we're going to take some dried bark, and this is going to go on the um, right on the edges, top and bottom of this cloak. Now I'm not going to do a great deal at the top. Again I've sort of thinned it out slightly, and that's just going to go on. You could really sort of laser on which I may do just to yeah I will I'll just make a little glaze up and um, it's not going to be like a really thin glaze but we're just going to thin it out just more than usual and really just apply it to all the bottoms here Now I'm applying it quite heavily for a glaze. Normally you'd sort of not have so much paint on your brush. But I quite like this sort of mucky sort of coffee stain effect that it's gonna give. So typically you wouldn't do this. But in Blend It too, um there really is no rule rules, there's no right way or wrong way to do anything in terms of modelling or painting. So it gives a nice sort of muddy look as well. And if you want to, um, again, do a bit more transition, you could do your typical sort of glazing technique. So yeah, next up I'm just going to maybe do a little bit, have a little bit less of this in the middle, so I'm just going to take my rack out flesh again and just build it up over the top. I know it's not going to be as dark as it was with the wash, that'll just give us a little bit more of a transition building up. It all depends how you want the overall sort of main look of the cloak to be. I want mine to be a bit more brown than bone, really. But we will add some lighter highlights here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the lighter highlights to the cent central parts of the robe, and I'm going to take some powdered witch flesh for this. And I'm looking at the reference pictures, and some of these lighter areas really go almost white. So we're literally just going to catch the top or raised sections like this, only going over the bone areas. Now the whole thing's looking very sort of messy, which is sort of how this sort of effect really is. It is sort of like just just a lot of colours coming together, making a really weird, unique sort of look. And that's why I really like some of the John Blanche stuff because it's very different to how we normally paint sort of clean, crisp ways. So that's our highlights. We will be bringing it all together with a couple.
couple of glazes as well. So I'll just let these highlights dry and we can sort of begin with that and then we're almost complete. So the colours are still looking a bit sort of separated from each other. So we're going to take in some Agrax earth shade and we're going to glaze this on so we're going to thin it out just more than we usually would. I'm only using water here but um, you could use medium. And we're just going to apply this all over all over our robes. It'll help darken up some of the recesses we might have gone over. And it'll also bring some of the colours together. It will make them look a bit more um, dirty, but that'd be quite nice for this effect. And it will bring down some of the lightness of these highlights. So I may apply two or three coats of this glaze just to bring the colours together a little bit. And that'll be just one final step after that. So at this stage you could call the robes done. Or you can add a further glaze. Now I'm going to use some Elysian Green. So some of the um, Lanjutsu style cloaks in this way and sometimes have the odd tint of another colour. And the Light's White Dwarf, this colour is green. Now, I know there's a fluff reason behind that, but it looks pretty cool, so I want to do it on this miniature um, as well. So, again, it's the same sort of principle. We're just um, sticking this green glaze on. And really um, put it on very thinly and just really spread it around. This will give, especially for lighter areas, some sort of tint of green, as well as putting some green tint into the recesses. So, you don't have to apply it everywhere, but I'm just going to apply it all over. You won't see it so much over the purple areas, but I quite like this sort of green sort of tint we're getting. It looks quite dark now but once it dries it will be quite quite subtle in comparison so we'll let that dry and we will we will be complete so that is our sort of dirty orange bone green coloured robes um yeah um it might be a bit of an acquired taste for some of you um I think I um, obviously I haven't pulled it off as well as John Blanche but you sort of get the idea, and um, there's all sorts you can do with this, just sort of play around with the colours and have fun really. Um, you might want to come back in with a Power Witch Flesh and maybe add some extra highlights if you want your robes to be a bit lighter, but I quite like them like this, so I decided not to do that in the end. But yeah, really interesting, and um, once the rest of the miniature is painted, um, I reckon it'll look pretty good. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's very different to the norm, and certainly not the way I would usually go about painting things, but it's an interesting effect and it's quite cool for um, sort of Blanjitsu style miniatures. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that, just something different. And I know it won't be to everyone's taste, but well, I quite enjoyed painting it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video and, and you guys want to give it a go and feel free. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this painting tutorial, you can check out some of our other um, Blanjitsu style videos. You can also um, use the buttons on the screen to subscribe or check out our Patreon. Um, other than that, um, thanks. thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.